cross-core customization. A lot of people are asking for it, but would this be something that's positive or a negative to the customization in Halo Infinite? And in this video, we ask just that question. Do you wanna know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again, give you another discussion video about Halo. Like we said at the top of this video, we're discussing cross-core customization because right now it's a hot topic within the Halo community. A lot of people are asking for it, but I feel like there might be some drawbacks to it as well. I know a lot of people are looking at it just a strictly positive thing and just giving people more customization options, which is certainly great but also allowing people to do that could cause some more issues further on down the line and we'll discuss that in this video. So let's just get right into the content here guys. So just real quick, if you like this kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. If you wanna stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get into the discussion here. So this is a mock-up right here that someone put together on Reddit, just kind of showcasing what cross-core customization would look like and seeing this like, yeah, that looks pretty awesome. Being able to mix and match different armor sets can get you some really unique setups and customization that we've never really had options before like that a whole lot until like later on in MCC's life cycle for Halo 3. Something like mixing up like the Reach armor set with like the hoodie and the helmet along with the Mark 7 gives you some really unique customization which honestly does look pretty good like especially since the Mark 7 looks so familiar to the Mark 5 that you can really have like this blend of armor sets and really wouldn't be too jarring or anything like that. Though I kind of would say that seeing something like this would look kind of funky. But why do people want this so badly? Well, I think this kind of comes from the lack of customization that we have for like the Yoroi and the Mark 7 armor sets, especially since for season one, we focused so much on the Mark 5 and Reach armor set, which right now has a decent amount of customization. A good portion of that was locked behind paywalls, which is a whole nother discussion right there. But I feel like this lack of customization that we have for the Mark 7 and Yoroi makes people want to have this cross-core customization so much more. I do feel like there are some pros and some cons to this, so I kind of threw this together real quick, saying like the pros would definitely be more customization, more options, the better, right? You have different generational styles with cross styles, so you can have like Mark 7 with Mark 5, you can have Yoroi with Mark 7, just mix it up however you like. Also, there are some cons that I feel like really would stand out with this kind of system would be the idea of like cores would be completely irrelevant really and would only be there for organization's sake rather than actual functionality. You would also lose that visual distinctness between the different cores as well where everyone would just be looking like a Halo Infinite Spartan rather than having a Mark V Spartan or having a Yoroi or having a Mark VII Spartan. In game everyone would just be kind of looking like a Spartan. Another con would be that it creates more work for 343 which meaning potentially a slower content flow for us as well. Now obviously I'm not a developer. I don't know how difficult that would be to have cross generation cross core customization. I believe we've seen some bots with it actually right now. Also, you could run into the issue of different armor pieces not working very well with each other, causing clipping, which has kind of been like the universal reason accepted by the community from 343. The reason why we don't cross core customization is because the different armor pieces would kind of clip into each other and kind of ruin that immersion and look kind of funky. So putting together this quick list that like, I have definitely found more cons than positives, at least in my opinion, when it comes to this, though more customization is a heavily weighted option that really is very needed in Halo Infinite. I feel like a big reason why this is a pain right now is because we kind of already had this with Halo 3 in the MCC. Because if you look at this Spartan I have right now in Halo 3, like this would be like in a unique armor core in Halo Infinite. But you can see right here, once I mix it all up with like the original armor set, some of the new like Anvil armor sets, the like more modern like Halo 4 like tech undersuit, the Fire Team Raven legs, and with the fracture like arms right here. You have some really interesting combinations you can certainly run with in the MCC. So the MCC could be the reason why it feels so limiting going with this core system because with MCC you can pick and choose whatever you wanted. And right now it's kind of painful right now with the customization like I mentioned earlier with Mark 7 and Yorai being rather minimal that they all kind of look in the same minus like some kind of coding that you might have picked up that people really want to stand out and look unique and feel like they have their own Spartan. But honestly, I feel like we should just hold off on that idea of cross-core customization because I feel like if you wait like a season or two, people will start looking a bit more unique. Right now, we're all unlocking the same stuff at roughly the same time. 
And once a couple seasons come in of content and different cores and stuff like that, it may be more beneficial to hold off and kind of stand out and wait a little bit longer to see how this core system really plays out. Would it be worth completely throwing out this core system for the short term benefit of having more customization where maybe down the line, they could have some really interesting things happen with this core system that we don't really understand yet because it's brand new to Halo. Because there will be more cores added. There will be more customization coming. It's just right now it feels really limiting starting out. Especially since a lot of the basic customization that you would assume would be part of a battle pass was thrown into the store like the Anubis armor set, the Hazop armor set, other Reach armor sets as well which I feel like should be part of the battle pass but you're throwing it in the store for like 20 bucks for a basic armor set. It just doesn't feel right to me. Especially since we had those armor sets tied to progression in previous Halo games. But why do people want cross-core customization? It's to stand out, like we said earlier. You won't feel like that's your Spartan on the battlefield. You won't feel like you have the latest and greatest Spartan. You won't feel like it's your Spartan. So I feel like there's always gonna be this customization uniqueness that's gonna be an issue with Halo Infinite, just no matter what we do. Because whenever you unlock something, you wanna put it on, right? You always wanna wear the latest and greatest new stuff. And with everyone unlocking the same stuff, people are gonna be always looking rather similar. With like a new helmet or new chest piece being thrown into a battle pass, people are gonna all unlock that, and once you unlock it, if it looks cool, you'll put it on. So with the benefit of time, people will be willing to kinda of reach back into the older customization as well to kinda of mix and match what they have. To where you do feel like more of a unique Spartan. It's just right now we're all unlocking the same amount of stuff, and all the amount of customization is like just enough to where you feel like you can customize it basically how you want. Uh, there's not like a whole lot of stuff right now that's available for us to select. Because if you're a player like me who really just kind of bought into the battle pass and didn't really buy into a whole lot of the microtransactions, you really don't have that much options, especially for the Mark 7. For example, I have four helmets I can select right now on my Mark 7, but most of those helmets are actually tied behind the paywall. When it comes to chest piece covering right here, I have three different choices where most of those are tied behind the paywall. I have three different shoulder pads, but again, most of it tied behind a paywall. Only have one glove cover I can select, one wrist item, one pack that I earned in the winter contingency, and one default knee pack because everything else is behind the paywall. Well, let's take, for example, the Mark V armor set that had a battle pass dedicated to this armor set. I have so many more helmets to select from, so many more visors, quite a few unique looking shoulder pads as well. I actually can choose my hand cover, multiple wrist options as well right here, two utility packs, and three different knee pads. So you can see after just like one season of content dedicated to a specific core, you have a lot more options to select with. So me personally, I actually would like to wait and see how this core system plays out when we have some more content added into the game as well. Because we truly don't know what 3 for 3 has planned for the core system and more customization, and what more cores are coming in. Because personally, I kind of like the idea of like looking at Spartan and seeing that that's a Mark V Spartan, that's a Mark VII Spartan, that's a Euroy Spartan. Because allowing cross-core would just make everyone just kind of blend together and just have different armor pieces. Though there is 100% room for a compromise right here, which I feel like 343 has already done a little bit of, but I'd like to see more of it, like this. One bit of compromise I'm seeing here already is the armor effect system, where you can have different kind of effects happen to your character while you're doing different actions within the game. Obviously within the battle pass, you have tier 100, you have the flame version. Recently within the store, they added in the enlightened path, which just creates like this cherry blossom kind of effect to it, kind of in style of Yoroi. And you can put this on any core, which is great. The one thing I feel like should be cross-core would be one item I feel like should be cross-core, no matter what, are armor coatings. Like this right here, this cool kind of camo print right here from the campaign. I would love to see it for my Mark V set right here, but obviously it's just not an option I can choose right here. And we do have some coatings that are designed for cross-core, like the HTS Winter skin, which looks great. I don't know why we can't have this for all our armor coatings. Another thing I would like to see are cross visors. Like, why can't we have all these kind of visors right here, which are really just kind of colors tinting over a visor? Why can't I have these Mark V sets on my Mark VII or vice versa? Like, this would look really sweet. If I could put this right here on my Mark V, that would be awesome. So there certainly is room for improvement when it comes to customization within Halo Infinite. I would like to hold off again on just not doing the cross-core customization because I feel like once we get like a season or two worth of content, I feel like this pain of feeling too similar to other Spartans out there on the battlefield will kind of alleviate itself. We just need time. And I'm just worried that throwing out the system for the benefit of the short term will hurt the long term. 
But let me know in the comment section down below, guys. I really want to hear what you have to say. Might even make a video based on your guys' responses as well if we uh, have a good discussion down below. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I can link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.